Welcome to a tour of it on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover the meter macro within Harlow 3.3. To understand the meter macro, we have to draw from a number of different ways we know things within Harlow. We've previously seen when we work with alignment or columns, or we work with the box macro or float box macro, that we use equal signs to define space or positionality. That carries over into the meter macro. The other thing we have is the use of the bind keyword because we want whatever is in the meter that we're going to show here to be bound to some particular variable. Now, this is a special case where the to bind keyword cannot be used with meter. It can be used with cycling link and sequence link and input and input box. It cannot be used with meter, at least in the current version of 3.3. Perhaps it will be enabled in a future version. So be very careful there. So we need multiple things. We need a minimum. So generally this will be the bound, this will be the bound variables value. We need a maximum, which could potentially be a variable value, but generally some type of fixed value. We need a size and position. This is using that format that we previously saw with the box macro and float box macro, but I'll go over it when we get to it. And we're also gonna need a color. So in this particular case, I am starting with the temporary variable begin. We're using the meter macro. We're binding to an initial minimum value, maximum of 10, and we're using X. X in this case, works in a very similar way that we saw it with the box and float box macros. X here says, take up the full horizontal space available to you within the passage. If we add a multiple, multiple equal signs, that subdivides the passage into that space. So in this one right here, this will begin on the left, the X is the position, and have thirds. Down here, we will have fifth with the meter starting at the other end. So potentially you could have the meter start on the far left, on the middle, and on the right. Although those that start in the middle are slightly confusing to read. So let's go ahead and look at what this looks like to kind of understand why we might want to use different values in different ways. So this is a green meter right here with 10%, so one of 10, extending the full length of the passage. This is similarly right here, 10%, but it begins on the left and its spacing is in thirds, and this is starting over here on the right and its spacing is in fifths. So notice this size, this size, and this third size are all different sizes based on the use of the number of equal signs, the subdivision of the columns in which the meteor extends. And again, like we saw with box and float box, X marks the spot. X is where it begins. So over in example one, with just one X extends the full thing with X and then two equal signs divided up into thirds or divided up into fifths. So the other thing we can work on is we can add a label to the meter. So instead of this last thing being green, we can add a label in here and the meter will appear on top of the label. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and start story here and play from this point. And notice we have health and then a corresponding meter extending off of that. So meter is an incredibly useful visual representation of some statistical data. And again, think of it as percentages, right? 10%, 50%, 40%. So we can adjust the first minimum value, which needs to be some type of variable. So we will bind to some type of variable. Then we will have a maximum, which could be a variable, but generally is some type of fixed number. Then we have a position, potentially a label if we want it, and then a potential color. So note on colors here that if you're working within Twine, you have access to named colors and hardly will help you out. If you ever kind of want to know what other colors are, you can kind of potentially jump in here and play with the various colors and see if those colors exist. The Harlow documentation, though, is the best source of what named colors exist within Harlow, but they generally are pretty good. Greens, red, things like that. So we have named colors right here. So as we have seen with other uses, though, meter can be applied to a number of different ways. And as we'll see in a future video, can be incredibly useful for common things we find within Twine stories or Twine games. Things like health, mana, all kinds of other things, potentially time remaining, are all useful visual indications of some statistical value that we can represent as percentage, right? Out of 100% total. So keep in mind that 
couple of other things to be aware of when we use meter is that we have to use positive numbers, which makes sense, right? We're interested in one to a hundred, some type of percentage. So they have to be positive numbers. The first number has to be less than the second number, which also kind of makes sense. The minimum has to be less than the maximum. So if we attempt to not do that, Marla will tell us very politely that we've caused some type of error. And again, using some type of color right here and being very careful about how we subdivide out the horizontal space, revisiting the box or float box uh, positionality if using X and equal signs to subdivide that. But the meter is an incredibly useful visual indication macro within Harlow. We can create all kinds of things. Again, health, mana, anything we want to represent that could be re represented some type of percentage, and then as needed, update it in various ways, potentially reacting to actions or events or potentially movements between passages. All kinds of other ways that we've previously seen can rep be represented in a visual way using the meter macro. So a useful macro to represent visual information and available to us using the same information we've seen with plenty of other macros. Using the equal sign in X, similar to box or float box. Using the bind keyword we've now seen with cycling link, sequence link, input and input box macros, barring all of those. Although keep in mind again, the to bind keyword does not currently work with meter macro, but we can use all of that existing knowledge create some visual interfaces using the meter macro within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.